everybody. It is December 6th. It is 7.40 in the morning, so just before 8 a.m., which is when I normally start my normal work day. I left yesterday's video to um, render last night when I went to bed. I actually ended up editing it until 10 o'clock, so it was just ready to go today and then this morning with my coffee and the news i made the thumbnail for youtube and so now i just need to put it all on youtube um so it's up as soon as possible so that's what i'm doing right now and then i haven't even made my to-do list yet for today i had an issue with being comfortable like this morning i woke up I laid in bed forever because I was cold and Sage was laying right next to me and if she gets up, I get up right because she takes a lot of the heat away. <laughs> but she was being just as lazy as I was. So stayed in bed for a while and then once I got up, showered, everything felt fine. But then my clothes, so there was an issue with my clothes today. I changed my clothes three, four times, um, which just weirdly exhausts me, like just being continually uncomfortable trying to fix it and then not succeeding. I feel tired from that <laughs> right now. Uh, so all I'm saying is that I have had a slow start to the day. Um, yeah, now we're starting the upload process. I never know, I gotta write down what I'm gonna put in my description and make it titled. I never know what to title these stupid videos. <laughs> I never know the best things to say, to do, but whatever. I think we're gonna go simple. We'll have just Vlogmas day one. I don't think I have any other Vlogmas in my channel. Should I do studio vlogmas day one so that people know I'm an artist? Sure. Studio vlogmas. Maybe I'll just do vlogmas 2022 and then a colon in what I did. I think we'll do that since I started on the 5th and not on the 1st. I think we'll do that. Okay, so this I already wrote down my saved file labeling. So this is saved file. And this is YouTube title. Oh, and it's 7.40, so I need to get an Instagram reel ready to post. I post an Instagram every morning. Um, I think I'm just going to recycle one today since I haven't filmed a new one. I just spin around with one of my pieces of artwork. It's very easy. Um, somehow it's working exponentially well for me, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. And I feel no guilt with reusing one of those videos every week and a half or so. So many new people see it every time. I don't think the same 5,000 people are seeing my video, maybe. But so far, I've posted one or two twice, and they've both done fine, so I don't feel bad about it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for a minute so I can get this stuff crack a lacking and uh, start my day. Okay, I'll let you know what I have to do today when I know what I have to do today after this. Alrighty, so I have successfully made a plan for the day. It's about 8.40. I have pushed my hours at Stitch Fix back um, because I'm uploading my YouTube video from yesterday and it's just taking a very long time. It's like a 20 minute video, but it still has an hour and 20 minutes left according to my computer. My internet on my phone is running slow. Everything's just kind of moving at a snail's pace. So instead of struggling through that with work this morning, that would just probably irritate me. I decided to push my hours back till a little bit later this morning 
I'll try to log in um, and start the day once this gets uploaded and see if it's any better. It's really foggy and gross outside and I really don't know how the internet works, but I always feel like I like to blame the weather when the internet's not working well. <laughs> it's probably not true, but we will blame the fog and the mist regardless. So instead we're gonna chug along and I think first thing I'm gonna do is just tidy up a bit because all of my desktop spaces are covered in piles of stuff that don't belong there. And so I think I'm a little on edge because of all of that as well. So that is number one. And then um, my friend who I was doing the custom and the stickers for, she did get back to me on a print size. And so I am going to adjust that digital canvas to be the right size. And then get all the prices together again, request it from her, wait for her to pay me, and then I will order all of that. And I'm hoping to do that very early this morning so that I can pick it up the same time I pick up that Santa Claus print later today because that's on the list too and I get them from the same place. So that would be handy dandy. Um, and then once I get the Santa Claus, package them up, ship them out tomorrow, and then again create that original 8x10 piece for Patreon which I started yesterday evening. So I'll probably set up my workstation for all of that this morning and then start on it later, unless my internet stays slow, then maybe I'll do that this morning. And work tonight. That is the nice thing about Stitch Fix, I do have a little bit of flexibility with my day, which works perfectly for me and my brain and my life. So I'm eternally grateful for that. But let's get to tidying. pick these up once I get the text message and after I finish stitch fix. Internet's still creeping on so we are going to get some more coffee, a snack, and do this.
am painting away at that original, which you just saw. Obviously, I'm not done with it just yet. I'm going to add some white. I'm going to do something with the smoke coming out of the chimney. Um, and then put some details with just some darker color. And maybe like a... Maybe just black? I don't know. But we're going to do that before I say that I'm done with it. But for now, I'm going to clean the brushes that I have dirtied and then eat some food and watch an episode of The Crown because I didn't do any relaxing yesterday um, with filming everything that I did and then editing into the night. And I know that if I don't allow myself to like chillax, I will burn out during, it's not even a full month because I have five days late on the Vlogmas thing, but you know, I'm just gonna keep that in check, so. That is the current plan. p.m. slump of the day I have I have wow my whole bit of speaking in that little what <laughs> what <laughs> oh it's three o'clock I've worked for a few hours now I took a little break with sage we went biking which was good for both of us I feel more awake than I did when I left for the bike ride. Um, I just got a notification that my other or the order I made this morning is ready for pickup. So I am going to head in there and pick up both my Santa Claus from yesterday and the custom order that I ordered this morning. I do have a couple other things to get while in town, so I'm gonna make that list really fast here. Um, it was, oh, Sage just making gross noises. We gotta pick up the orders, boom, pick up. And then, oh, let me move this down so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe, you know, do you care to see? Should I hold it up so you can see? Pick up orders. Um, by guillotine. Gu guillotine, guillotine, you know, the big paper cutter. I have a tiny one for little things, but uh, it's not quite big enough to cut down what I need to for today, and most of what I print is larger anyway. So I need to buy a bigger one, so we're gonna do that. Um, I need a new leash for Sage because the turd chewed through hers. Um, was there anything else? There is one out there. I think it's all over the place. Unless I need to, need to. What else do I need? Hot coffee. Guys, I need to. Hot creams to get some outside. Do you have any coffee for us? I don't think so. Sage might not care in a minute, so be aware. Just listen to get the super underwear that they're outside. Anyway, I have candles. I don't know why I have candles. What kind of coffee supplies do I need? Anything? Packaging tape? I think we'll just browse up this stuff because it's got a nice place to be. We'll do that. We'll save the leash thing for later. I have leashes that are just not nice ones. So we're just going to go to the one place. We'll call the good old time. The watch is still open. Let's just go. Hi, Sagey. 
Hello. Hello, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. I know. I was gone for such a long amount of time. Not really. Not really. No. Not really. Not really. Oh. Sirens. None of these things are for you. None of them. None of them. Ugh, why are my services always full? My services are always full. CG, don't bite it. Whatever you do, it's not for you. This isn't for you either. But I did buy myself a sandwich. So, I'm gonna take my coat off from my little trip into town. I'm gonna eat my dinner, which is a Jimmy John's sandwich. My camera's on this side. Um, I'm gonna watch some Seinfeld while I do that. Then I'm going to do some more stitch fix. And then I'm going to finish that painting. And then we're probably gonna call it a day here, but still a few more things to come. They're a mess. That's super upsetting. Maybe. Oh, okay, I can get that off. Oh, thank goodness I can get that off. Woo, okay. I was really upset for a minute. Um, um, can you see? Okay, so this is the custom that I ordered, so I'll trim the edges down so it's 11 by 14. Um, this is all marked up on all of them, but I just discovered that I can get that off, so that'll be number one thing that I do here. And then, these are the Santa Clauses, and they look really good too. I'm very happy with them. It is 6.30. Oh, my phone's gonna die. 6.30. Um, this will be the last thing I say on the vlog tonight. Um, I'm happy with this. 
Um, but I do not like this guy at all. There's a chance that I'm definitely going to take a picture scan of it. Um, and then I might pop it onto my iPad and get rid of this guy altogether and then just maybe, maybe make prints of it, um, without this guy. You know, it's pretty interesting. It's not like anything else that I have, so I don't know if the print will really make any sense, but I do think it's really cute. Turn it around here. I think it's very cute. Um, I love the hills in the background. I've never done hills like that before. Definitely, um, it definitely reminds me, anyway, of Furry Little Peach's style of the way. I don't know if she's still doing hills like similar to this or not, but that's definitely where I got the idea to do the tall cylinders or the tall skinny hills like that. Um, but it looks really cool. It created depth in a really fun kind of magical way. And since it is, in my mind, pretty reminiscent of Furry Little Peach, um, I'm leaning towards not making it into prints because... I can't help but think that it's very close to, I mean, it's nowhere near her level of skill, <laughs> but um, just these shapes and the lines really remind me of her stuff. Let me know in the comments if you know, if you're watching this and then you probably know for a little peach. So give me your opinion on that. Love to hear it. Um, but yeah, I am happy with it. I especially love the house. The shape of the house is all me. Super fun. I love the smoke coming out of this chimney. That turned out cool. And then the texture on the house I like a lot too. So that's a total win. I might use this shape of building or house in like a different painting to come along now that I have that in my mind. But that is that. Tomorrow um, I did get a call from my grandma. So I am going to run my grandpa in for a doctor's appointment in the morning so I won't be filming that so um, I'll chat with you in the morning before then probably but all the docket tomorrow is that and then packing up patreon and that custom order and shipping it all out in this custom this 8x10 for Patreon should be dry by then, too, so I can roll it up and pop it in the same tube with all of her custom order stuff. So, that'll be fun. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, if you're curious, go check out my Patreon or my shop or what else? My Instagram. You might still be able to find a TikTok of mine, but I deleted TikTok from my phone at least, like a year and a half ago, because it's distracting for me. Um, so you might be able to find me over there, I don't really know. If I deleted it or if I just deleted my app, who knows. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that I have to say. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.